Have you ever thought about how the most legendary prank in history led to the downfall of an entire city? Let's take a ride back in time to ancient Greece where the story of the Trojan horse unfolded. This was no ordinary horse, mind you. It was a colossal wooden statue, seemingly a gift from the Greeks to the Trojans. But here's the kicker, tucked away within this equine behemoth were Greek soldiers, waiting for the right moment to strike. The Trojans, none the wiser, wheeled this massive gift right into the heart of their city. As nighttime fell, the hidden Greeks emerged, capturing the city from within. Talk about a surprise party you didn't want to attend. So the next time you're pulling a prank, remember the Trojan horse. It's proof that even a seemingly harmless joke can have some unexpected twists. Imagine waking up to find your city captured because of a prank. Now that's a prank with some serious consequences. What if spaghetti grew on trees, would you believe it? Let's rewind to 1957 when the BBC pulled off a prank so believable, people were left scratching their heads. On April Fool's Day, they broadcast a segment showing a Swiss family joyfully harvesting spaghetti from their tree. Yes, you heard me right, a spaghetti tree. The hoax was so well executed that viewers were utterly bamboozled. The images of the family plucking strands of spaghetti from tree branches and laying them in the sun to dry were so convincing that people started calling the BBC, asking how they could grow their own spaghetti trees. Can you imagine the look on their faces when they found out it was all a prank? So the next time you're boiling pasta for dinner, take a moment to chuckle at the idea of a spaghetti harvest. Remember, it's not from a tree, or is it? What if a fast food chain bought the Liberty Bell? Would it become the Taco Liberty Bell? Now let's ring back to 1996 when Taco Bell stirred the pot with a spiced up April Fool's Day prank. The fast food giant announced they had purchased the Liberty Bell, a symbol of American independence to help reduce the country's debt. The new name? The Taco Liberty Bell, of course. Their press release claimed the bell would still be accessible to the public, only it would now be called the Taco Liberty Bell. The country was in an uproar, with citizens chiming in from all corners to express their outrage. Calls flooded in, newspapers caught fire with the story, and even the White House press secretary played along, announcing that the Lincoln Memorial had been sold as well, and would henceforth be the Ford Lincoln Mercury Memorial. But as the day wore on, the truth rang out loud and clear, it was all a prank. Remember, not everything you read is true, especially on April Fool's Day. Do you ever wish your burger was designed specifically for your dominant hand? Burger King once did too. In the glorious year of 1998, Burger King took the world by storm with an April Fool's Day advertisement that was truly one for the books. They introduced the Left-Handed Whopper, a burger that was specifically designed to fit the needs of left-handed customers. Yes, you heard that right, a left-handed burger. The advertisement claimed that all the condiments were rotated 180 degrees, catering to the 20% of the world's population that is left-handed. And here's the kicker. People actually fell for it. Burger King outlets were flooded with customers asking for the left-handed Whopper. Some even went a step further, requesting their Whopper to be made right-handed. So next time you're at Burger King, remember to specify if you want a right-handed or left-handed Whopper. Pranks can be hilarious, but they can also teach us important lessons about skepticism and critical thinking. As we've seen from the legendary Trojan horse to the BBC's Spaghetti Harvest, the Taco Liberty Bell, and the left-handed Whopper, pranks have been part of our history, bringing humor and sometimes even reshaping our perspectives. Each of these pranks, while wildly different, share a common thread. They remind us to approach life with a sense of humor, yes, but also with a critical eye and a healthy dose of skepticism. They also remind us that pranks, while fun, should always be done in the spirit of good humor without causing harm or offense to others. So as we chuckle at these legendary pranks, let's remember the lessons they teach us and the joy they bring into our lives. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, share this with your friends, and subscribe for more entertaining content. Follow me on all social media platforms at WorldWideWave24. Stay tuned and ride the wave of laughter with us.